So here at the uh, digital home group. Yes. Uh, you showing off some latest solutions? Right. So I'm Mark Rogotsky, the director of the Lenaro Digital Home Group, and recently uh, we've put together a very compelling demo that is showing the latest Microsoft Porting Kit 3.0 for PlayReady integrated with Lenaro's open source, open portable trusted execution environment known as Opt. Now this is um, so we see here the some of the a diagram. So this is Play Ready Microsoft, and they were having a keynote here. They were talking about some stuff also. Yeah, there's there's a few components here. Let me just sort of take them one at a time. First of all, with this demo, we have done a lot of work with Chromium, um, the Open CDM, uh, with W3 CEME, and. We have integrated it with, with the open, portable, trusted execution environment. And so, in the past, we've done what we call a clear key solution. And then what we've done is added a commercial DRM solution to this to show that a commercial DRM, such as Microsoft PlayReady, that has a porting kit that interfaces to a trusted execution environment, does in fact um, work well or is compatible with our opt team. So it's showing that their porting kit does a good job and the fact that an open source porting kit can now be made to um, you know, work with the solution. So what, so what is a, what is the opt T here? We see uh, uh, this T and uh, O, o opt T. So a lot of T's are, are, are proprietary. So in Lenaro, we've created this open portable trusted execution environment, and it is, it is an actual open source project. So people can download the code for the OPT. So what we are, we're demonstrating here, that OPT is not just a, a, a research uh, you know, program, it's, it's, it actually can be used in a real deployment. Here we have the ST set-top box, which has OPT embedded on it, and it has Chromium and it is running the. Um, right. It's encrypting the video. All right. So, so, what I want to show here is that we have the. So, it's the Chromium browser, which is then integrated with the OpenCDM. That OpenCDM then interfaces to something called the CDM interface, where the DRM is baked into the platform and is, inter, is uh, integrated with OPT provide a hardware security solution. So all of the decryption in this case is happening in the trusted execution environment where those decrypted, you know, all the decryption is being done securely. And it's made by hardware? Is it hardware decrypted? Uh, at this point, the, the demo is using software, but the next step is to uh, implement all of the hardware acceleration that we currently have in our open SDK. But that's the next step, and we'll have that done very soon. So, uh, PlayReady, there's, there's lots of different DRM solutions, right? Uh, why are you starting with PlayReady and with Microsoft? Oh, well, one of our members uh, you know, provide, you know, suggested that we start with that one. That was one that they were actually integrating with. So the fact that it was good timing in the sense that they had just come out with a new porting kit, which was designed to interface with a trusted execution environment, and we thought this would be a good one to start with. So we've shown that it works very well, but one of the important things about the OpenCDM interface is that we're trying to promote DRM interoperability. So if any DRM actually uh, is compatible or follows the OpenCDM CDMI messaging protocol, we should be able to then incorporate their DRM as well. So if you go over here and we look, uh, so so you're talking about this and uh, play ready? Right. So the open CDM is in the browser, but then it, it talks to the DRM, which is essentially baked into the platform, and it then it, there are remote procedure calls that occur between the open CDM and the CDMI service, and so that way. You, you can replace this with different DRMs that would be integrated with OPT, but that, stand, that interface remains standard, which is very important. So, and this is a very big deal. The, the, the TV and the, the studios, the movie studios, they require this kind of stuff. They want, they want their D DRM to be very 
right. uh, they have high requirements. Right, so with 4K HDR premium services that are now coming, being made available, the studios have raised the um, requirements for, for protection. And again, this particular demo, it's a demo, there's still some work to be done in terms of you know, the, the studios want 4K video to be executed on a trusted execution environment. What they're essentially doing is pushing the requirements closer and closer to the hardware for protection. So the next step that we're going to also implement in OPT is the secure video path, which is also a very important component as well. What does that mean? The, the video goes through a path to... So what that means is that as the, the, the content is decrypted, decoded, and rendered, it, it, it always stays in secure space. Those buffers can never be accessed through user space. And that's a very important part of the secure video path and the trust zone um, you know, memory protection system. And then it goes out to the display, the HDCPI? Right, HDCPI. right. it goes HDMI protected by HDCP 2.2. For 4K video. 2 .2, that means they're satisfied with that. Nobody's going to plug in a recorder in that or something. That's right. That's right. Uh, so the thing to do in, in this demo, just to point out that this, this is an actual live demo uh, where we have a, a, a reference Javis uh, dash JS player. And what you see here is that it recognizes the play ready key system. And then what it does is then it, it goes to a key server and actually gets the key and then decrypts it. And this is all happening on the set top box. So this is a, an end to end system. Again, still, it, it's a demo and there's still some additional work to be done. But it, it's exercising all of the components. It's MPEG, it's Dash with MPEG common encryption. And so, again, the key system is recognized, the URL for the server is identified, it goes to that server, it gets the license and keys necessary to decrypt the content. So this is, this is the future of the set box, and the, this is a very, very big, very important market. Yes, uh, and again, so here at Connect you know, SFO 15, and, but we demoed this 10 days ago at IBC in Amsterdam, and the response was overwhelming due to the fact that it was you know, using Opti, which is an open, portable, trusted execution environment, as well as using the latest Microsoft Play Ready porting kit. So we were one of the first to get that combination working. And Opti itself is just gaining incredible traction because a lot of chip vendors realize, I don't have to go and invent my own TE anymore. I can use Opti and, and, and you know, get to market faster. And build on that to differentiate differently to other, with other stuff, right? Right. So in that case, everyone can... Um, you know, but I, again, you, you, you can access the T, but you, it's the implementation that's key. You have to imp it has to be implemented properly, and then the vendor themselves would have to go and get their solution certified by a third party in order to uh, satisfy the requirements of the studios. Nice. So there's lots of stuff happening in the home group. And you, yes. you have a bunch okay. of demos here? Yes. So in the home group, just um, one of the things that we've just done here is um, the 96 board program. Which one is that? This is the Dragon Board. The Dragon Board? And what do you have running on that? Okay. So we've been working with the high keyboard as well as the Dragon Board. And we, in, our, in the home group, we use open embedded Yocto builds. So what we have running here is we have Chromium, the latest version of Chromium running, Chromium 47, with um, the Arduino graphics support. So because we had done a lot of work previously on the high keyboard to get 64-bit Chromium uh, built with OE Meta Browser in a 64-bit environment, we were actually able to take that code, and in two days... In two days? Yes, we had this running on the Dragon Board. It's, uh, the Dragon Board's a quad-core uh, chip, and it has the Arduino graph. So this is using the GPU. It was, it, it was like hand and How can you do that? Because how can you get? Uh, that's is it using the, the free Arduino? Yes, so, using the, the open source GPU driver. Yes. and so they they support open embedded the root file system, and in addition they also support some of the other things that we use in our media framework, such as video for Linux. So again, this is just the first step. 
this is running with the GPU, but again, the next step for us is, are, is for the home group to get our entire OE stack running, which we call the Open SDK, which has GStreamer, Wayland, and Video for Linux, and all the other good kernel goodies such as DRM, KMS, DMA buff, all these accelerated uh, optimized media playback engines that are optimized for ARM. So nice. here we're using Fredrino, other chips we can use the Mali drivers, but again, showing that the power of the open embedded meta browser that you are then able within a very short period of time with some extremely skilled engineers I might add, not myself, cool. to get this running. Cool, and you have even more stuff yep. going on over there? Let's go over there. Okay. So So, so what, what is what is showing off here? Well I'll um, I'll just give it a quick intro. Um, one of the things that we've ported is, or we've introduced to um, our media framework system is the whale and windowing protocol. And so in this case, we're doing a demonstration with QT applications that use what we call nested uh, whale and compositors. And I'll introduce uh, Vish Puragante here, who has been working on this as well. And he can give a few more details and maybe show some of the things that he's been doing. So what is, what is this? So essentially, uh, this is a you know we have the Valen protocol. It's basically the way in which uh, you know applications talk to each other, like especially for windowing and everything. And Veston is the underlying implementation of the Valen protocol. So we have Veston working underneath. So you have Veston working, and this is the desktop shell for the Veston. And then we have simple applications that are clients directly to the Veston, or you could actually, if you want to make a more composite composite application. Like, you know, you want to have the same application running within your own environment. What you could do is you could implement something like a cube window compositor. This is a cube window compositor. And what this is, this is acting as a, as a client to the underneath Western protocol or a Western server. And it's acting as a server for all these, uh, you know, individual clients. So the part that's interesting is this nested compositing where you can pull these apps into that environment. Yes. And as I mentioned over there, basically Veston server is uh, hosting on the Valen Zero socket. So all the messages are going to the Valen Zero socket, whether, like for example here, the QWindow compositor is sending all the messages to the, uh, uh, you know, the Veston, the Valen Zero socket, and all these applications are sending messages to the Valen One socket, essentially. So, uh, so some some uh, some set-top box maker or, or service providers would like to have this for some reason. Yeah. So, what, what do they want this for? So, you know, basically this is a windowing uh, mechanism, right? So, and also an input mechanism. So, uh, you know, all the the set-top box manufacturers they want to have the best implementation because they have all these complex applications. They have videos, um, you know, that they're overlapping on background applications, or they have like. Um, you know, play buttons and other applications that are overlapping on the video, that's where they would actually use the Valen protocol. All right. And, and again, sorry, just to wanted to mention that this is on, again, a reference hardware from ST Microelectronics, the, the B2020 dual Cortex A9 chip. So again, this is very, when when you use the, the Mali GPU, for example, it's very little processing overhead on the CPU. And in addition to the Mali GPU, there are also like, you know, the display systems has hardware overlays. So the Veston actually uh, directly talks to the libdrm, so it knows how best to compose. So if you give it like five windows, and if the hardware overlays, uh, hard the display subsystem has like three overlay hardware overlays, then it only it uses the uh, hardware overlays as much as possible. So that's why the CPU load is going to be and the and the GPU load is as minimum as possible. All right, so very optimized solutions. Lots of stuff happening in the home group. Definitely, and yeah, a lot more requests. Uh, there's m you know many. Um, Many parties are talking to this, of course, Microsoft, Netflix, others, and they're all looking, you know, Opti is getting a lot of attention, a lot of folks are looking to start certifying solutions on Opti and implementing um, some of these porting kits and some of the formalism that we've been doing Lots here. of traffic at IBC. Oh, it, it, was, it was overwhelming. Yeah. Lots of business cards and... Uh, oh, yes. yes. And lots of companies should join Lenara, right? They definitely should. They, they can see now what we've been able to what we've been able to deliver in a fairly short period of time. You saw it today this week at Connect uh, where we, we had the dragon board done in you know just a couple of days. It's the, the it's it's the quality of engineering but it's also the quality of the design of what we do. We always are looking for the most optimum best solutions to use on ARM. We don't 
take shortcuts, and we, we always try to you know in, engineer the best systems. It's in cases like this, when we say we promote time to market, well, we can bring solutions to Opti quite quickly, and on other solutions for graphics and uh, media frameworks um, on on. Arm, or you know, like say, for example, the Dragon Board. These are things that companies want, but like now, and they can get them delivered in a very short period of time. And moving fast, that's the whole business here. Uh, the home group moving is fast, all about moving fast. Hopefully moving smart and having the right architecture that you're building upon, which enables all those other things.